So if you park on the other side of the North Marine Park, your first stop is this beach here at Little Haven. So that's three lighthouses. The one famously at the end of the pier on the right lost its top in the recent storm. And then you have toilets in the car park, an ice cream shop, and a promenade. The promenade leads to the beach and to the South Shields Pier. Usually you can walk along the pier, but today because of the uh, the waves, the pier is closed because of the weather. Let's see the seas, rather rough today. The lighthouse at the end there that's been damaged in the last storm back in I think it was October or beginning of November. Okay, across into the mouth of the Tyne, Sandhaven Beach. This beach was voted the best beach, I think it was 2022 by the Times. And even today, I mean, this is the 31st of December, and it's not warm, I think it's four or five degrees. There's still a lot of families out enjoying it. We just walked along the pier here. I said you normally can walk to the end in a, on a nice summer's day, but not today. So we're just gonna walk along. enjoy it. the weather and probably stop along the promenade there where Minchella's is for an ice cream and a nice warm coffee but this is in my opinion one of the best seaside areas you can go to Cornwall and have similar but it costs us 140 pounds for three nights here in a hotel There's plenty of B&B's you have the amusements here, you've got the fairground, you've got a selection of five out of five restaurants nearby. Parking is relatively cheap, I mean we've parked for free up where those houses are in a residential area but even in the coastal car parks it's cheap. So the fun fair is closed because it's winter, but the amusements are still open, all your traditional things. Some good rides here in the summer, bring a few travelling things in. But yeah, traditional helter skelters, usually a little roller coaster, all the traditional amusements. Break dancers still here, this will reopen on Good Friday. Walsa. The rides cost about four, two to four pounds each. Well, you can normally get a wristband. Yeah, traditional fin fair. Loads of different rides. Little roller coasters, log flumes, sw flying swings.
there's a pirate ship everything being refurbished in the winter but yeah the rides cost between two and four pounds on the other side of the road from the fairground and the sea is South Marine Park now in the summer you can rent boats here on Sunday it's popular with a model boating club and there's a, a little train that runs around ice cream shop loot decent coffee and a nice walk through the ornamental gardens at the top is a restored waterfall but again a little it's too cold for that today there's a massive player park for the kids to entertain themselves Go to the top of the park as you move away from the children's area. Really nice park, which is always well maintained by the local council. Bandstand there. Steam trains just starting to go around in the distance. All the way from the hustle and bustle back here of a seaside town. Climb these steps here. As you get to the top of the park, this is the restored fountain, which I didn't think would be running today. Covid Memorial Suddenly a broken chair Just looking down on the park now, so you can see the sea in the distance. Park is accessible with ramps as well, right if you can't make the steps. Sadly there's a lot of vandalism around the town. That's to be expected really these days. down to the right where the fountain is
bandstand. I'm just going to walk straight down. Park continues to the left. Well, that heads down to the marine on Ocean Road. Let's follow this path down. In the spring and summer, this would all be planted. Plenty of seating around. Chairs dedicated to to loved ones who are no longer with us. I'm back to the lake, so not not the biggest park. The kids will love coming here. You can get a boat ride. You'll see the steam train in a moment. A few boats out. Still model ones today. Out of season, so the rowboats are not around. You'd normally hire them from the hut in front of Minchella's there. around the park. There's this narrow gauge railway which you can take a ride on.
So as you come out of the South Marine Park, Ocean Road divides it. From North Marine Park, you have the Haven Point Swimming Pool. And you can walk along Ocean Road into town. Yeah, there's free parking all the way along Ocean Road, and there's a large car park behind it. Ocean Road home to um, the famous Coleman Seafood Restaurant. There's another one at the end of the, the beach, but there, this is the, the one that's always in the papers on Good Friday with a queue. There's a number of five out of five TripAdvisor rated restaurants along here. Um, we've tried Da Vinci and Italian Spanish this trip. There's a number of curry houses and a few more fish and chip shops as well. But yeah, that's the South Shields seafront, really. Everything is walkable to the metro, which is probably a 15 minute walk along here. Or really easily accessible by car. And you can get to up to Newcastle, it takes about 20 minutes if you want to go to Newcastle. B&B's all the way along here on Ocean Road as well. We've used the Premier Inn. But yeah, good little seaside town and uh, yeah, a bit of a, an unknown gem really. Uh, full of Geordie people as we all know, are the best people in the world.